facility. Oh, sorry, it's Rainbow Elephant. I don't mean to sit the phone here. Oh. Bella for a shield and a resource. Alright. Alright. That's interesting. Austin likes to leave his dice off screen yeah. and pull them in when he rolls. <laughs> so first damage onto FN. Ooh, there you go. Add this rep and those resources. No, no sorry. Uh, damage. damage. Sorry. Yeah. Hyperloop. Oh no. Discard no. for re rolls. Resources and uh, damage. Ooh, more damage coming out. This is another three NFN, so that's four total. Yeah. Responds with another uh, three two. or another two. Two three. more. Claims those three resources. With a lightsaber rolling in and claiming the, uh, the resource. Mm -hmm. Cyberspace to switch up to the throne room and to end the turn. Okay. Thanks, Austin, for the uh, preview of the hand. And thanks to John as well. Oh yeah, the hyperspace. I think John would really have loved. He had two boundless ambition and uh, the rocket launcher. Yeah. So I think I think he only had the one resource, so he would only been able to boundless ambition once. But right. I think he would would have loved to have done that to end last turn. Uh, all right. Uh, so hit and run. So resource and disrupt. There's that focus. Range damage and disrupt. And thermal. Uh, no. Get race to get out of the way. Yep. Players came out to the event today. Yeah. Did a few last-minute uh, drops, and then one defection from Austin from Netminder over to Desk. Uh, actually, I should check it. We might have the results to post after round five. Even it back out. Oh man. All right, so just screw the uh, link to the results in both chats. And Bella Peak. Yeah. Two shields and a focus. Dug in to get some shields on Poe. Ooh. 
Cyber knife from the Nexus before it rolls in. Yeah. And uh, one damage. One, uh, yeah, one damage, one melee damage, and one discard. side as well, he knows that Balotix is now at risk as well. Yeah. Another gun side. Focuses the nice of your base to the range damage. Yeah. So John just missed the damage there. He, uh, there was uh, two. Just three damage, so. Ooh. Those Falcon at the Night Sister, where they had the damage showing? Yep. And of course, Planetary Uprisings, an additional two damage on Bala mm -hmm. Does not look good for Bala. No, it doesn't. Yeah, and there's the claim. Thank you for joining us, John. John runs Starkiller Base, a YouTube channel. I'm sure you guys have all seen both his commentary and his alt arts. Yeah, now you can put a face to the, yeah, to the mysterious I voice. I don't mention my name often, and I don't have my face on, <laughs> on the stream, so people are like, who the, who, who's this John guy? I don't know. Now you know. I've seen his hands when yeah. he plays, it, <laughs> plays a tournament or two. That's about it. So, yeah, I, I was saying before that I knew you were a double score champ winner. I don't know if you won another one when I, I came, wasn't looking. I came second in the third, in the fourth one. Okay. okay. So I was uh, still correct then? Sure. Yeah. Uh, what did you end up facing today? Uh, first round was Ray Mon Patton. Yes, we saw that on stream. Yeah, that was that hero on deck. Stream, like, yeah. Yeah. I beat him with two cards left in my deck. Wow. And okay, so, so that mill actually worked out because... The, the game we got, the mill didn't really get working. Well, I'm playing Rainbow Nines, right. and, which I guess you just saw. Yeah. But, uh, thanks, man. Um, but the problem is, with Rainbow Nines and you're playing against the mill, they have to take your foot off the gas. Normally, you're like, oh, right, yeah, 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 yes. And you're like, yes. no, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna yeah. claim. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna claim. Yeah, I'm gonna play normal. Uh, round two is Pomaz, and I, I beat him. Um, it was pretty close. I think it was like Bala with six hit points left. Okay. Uh, I played a mirror match where my opponent lost his Night Sister round one and Bella first action of round two, but he had two aftermaths out and was sitting with FN with 11 resources <laughs> because he I double boundless the first turn and uh, it was just ridiculous. We had this this weird fight where it was like Bala had two hit points left. I, I put something in and I whiff, so I, I re-roll it and then he pings his Night Sister to re-roll it and it misses the damage. And then I ping my nice sister, put it back to damage, and back and forth. I did six to my nice sister. He did five to his, <laughs> and I finally killed his night sister because because he ran out of. Uh, I think he pinged himself to, to save Bala. <laughs> yeah. And then I ready my Bala, and I was like, okay, maybe I can kill Bala anyway. And I, I missed, but that was a weird one. Um, yeah, and then uh, I played another mirror match, and I played against what was it? Uh, Snap Bays was the top seed for round four. Right. Yeah. I killed. He got the battle. He gave me my battlefield, so he had two shields on on uh, Bays. I killed Snap turn one, and took two took the shields off Baze, and then killed Baze turn two. It was just, it was ridiculous. Was like, I got no die control in hand, yeah. and he's got like the plus three on overkill, and he's re-rolling, and I'm just like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I did a, a nice sister ping a couple times to keep keep everybody alive, but it was yeah, it was interesting. So, so that was I think that was my five, and then you saw yeah. you saw my quick execution in yes. round six, but that's okay. I don't want to be king of Swiss because it's cursed. 
Every that's time, yeah, King of Swiss, true, they will lose. They will lose in the oh. top 16. Paired against right. the 16th player who's four and two, and he will upset them. So just because you're five and one doesn't mean you're not King of Swiss. Well, that's the problem. There's no undefeated. So I'm hoping my, my first round opponent was the Mill guy. Right. Uh, I think round three I saw he was still zero points, yeah. and then he dropped. So, so he might be like he might wreck my strength schedule. I might be sixth or something. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll take it. I'll take it. So I know you were talking today, and we were talking earlier, and you mentioned that you were considering playing Homaz as well. So why did you decide to go with the uh, FN instead? Well, what I like is I like Fun Card. It's my favorite kind of deck because right. it's controlly. It's I mean, without Empire at War, it's about as controlly as you can get. Right. So you know, like I like decks where I can play it and I've just taken away all my opponent's options. And I know that that sounds like I'm a giant asshole, and maybe maybe that makes me a giant asshole, but that's that's what I like. So I played Fun Car against Pomaz. Uh, I spent about four hours testing last night and two or three this morning. And I gave my friend Pomaz. He had never played it before. And he beat me four out of six games. And I was like, I can't play Funker. So <laughs> then we played Pomaz against something else. And it, I think it was Pomaz. My friend was playing uh, Dooku Nines. And it was actually pretty close, but uh, the Pomaz went four and two. So he, he all of a sudden decided he's going to play Pomaz. And so we played him with Pomaz. Uh, this was a, a guy that knew how to play Pomaz. Yeah. And I was going to play Rainbow Nines to see how it would go. And I went four and two against him. So he decided he's going to play Rainbow, and I'm yeah. going to play Rainbow today. Got he, it. I think he went one and three and then dropped because okay. the dice just didn't yeah, go his way. Yep. So I'm happy. I like. I would rather have. I'd rather do well with Funcar. Yes. Like if I come home with the trophy with Funcar, that's that's my dream. Yeah. But I'd rather come home with the trophy with a different deck than make top 16 and sure. get executed by Pomaz yeah. because. Funkar and Pomaz don't get along very well. Right. So, so Voodoo, life. Voodoo wants to know what you're looking forward to with Empire at War. Um, I have a Hair of Vehicles deck that's a lot of fun, and I don't think it'll be... I mean, it's, it, it can do some really good stuff, but I'm, I'm really... Ex I, I've been spending a lot of time playing Spirit of the Rebellion because of Canadian Nationals, uh, but I have a, a Thrawn Uncar deck that I'm really excited to play because that is the essence of my Funkar deck, the control, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's hyper control, and it has stupid amounts of money, which is fantastic. So I'm going to try that one out. Uh, I'm not all that interested in, like, the, the Cad Bane Phasma and the Her or, sorry, uh, Sabine, uh, Ezra, and stuff like that because it's just, you know, you get... You get your dice, you roll it in with an ambush action. If you hit, great, you kill a guy. And if you don't, you just go So, you know, it's like it's like the Luke Ray nowadays, right? You, you either you roll the, well, the you roll, spike you the damage. Luke, you hit a, a blank and a shield, and you're like, oh, okay. All right. Bye. So, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to trying all kinds of different stuff. Like, yeah. I think that Qui-Gon and Kanan will be really interesting together. Um, I, I saw the double blanks. Jay was playing the three little piggies. It's three Gamoran guards, and it was, it was really cool. <laughs> like 11 hit points each with Guardian. It was really interesting. That's interesting, yeah. And you can play Twin Shadows in that deck and, and spot spot two characters with the same name and get rid of them. Um, I don't know. There's there's a lot of like 20 hit point characters, sorry, 20 point characters and 10s, and I'm, you know, like the mace with a Padawan is pretty cool, but, you know, I find that short of Vader, those don't do all that well. Sure. So, you know, like mace, you can put a Padawan in, you can put Maz in. And then it's just the same as playing Obi Wan with Maz, or yeah. you know Luke with Maz, or K two S O with Maz, and it's just I don't like that there are so many twenty point characters for, for heroes because there aren't that many ten point characters that are all that interesting. Right. Ezra definitely opens it up a bit, but most of them are in melee. So yeah, I don't know. Anything for the two player box that you want to get into your decks? Um. Well, I mean, obviously the two player Phasma is ridiculously good. She's just. 13 cost for 10 hit points and those die size are just bonkers so I think that should be great I mean I was I was uh, planning on trying out like a elite phasma FN first order trooper deck sort of sort of like rainbow nines because you can play um, uh, award ceremony to draw three cards you can put in fast you know there's enough weapons for red and you can do things like battle formation to reroll like three dice with ambush and resolve them immediately that new uh, card uh, Imperial HQ is amazing. It's a one cost support and before you go to resolve a die with a pay side, exhaust it and reduce the cost by one. So right, you, yeah. you roll in like a rocket launcher with, with FN with no money and you just go okay, thank you. four yeah. damage, there you go, enjoy. But I, I imagine that uh, FN's probably going to get errated pretty soon and I'm okay with that because like I'm playing Rainbow Nines but I don't like Rainbow Nines. It's, it's a very good deck within the rule set that exists but I wish it didn't exist. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. The play experience is not the greatest. 
Yeah, I mean, like I, I played in my mirror match. I, I I drew my hand up turn two, and I had 11 cards left in my deck already. Yeah, right. And I had killed two of his characters. So it's just like... Well, I noticed in that game... When you played the hyperspace jump, you had the rocket launcher and two boundless ambition. So I was you ready. were ready to commit. Yeah, you were ready to in that first round. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna paste him pretty good, but I, I saw him discard the hyperspace, and I was like, he's probably got another hyperspace. Yeah, he's got yeah, three because yeah, yeah, yeah. you wouldn't discard that no, unless yeah. you had something. Like, yeah. But yeah, and, and switching in the battlefield again to shields, it was, a, it was a good play, definitely. I mean, I did everything that I could. Like I, when I had the two melee sides, I was going to overwrite with a flame, uh, with a lightsaber, so I left one of the melee sides out just yes, in case I wanted plus that, two. Yeah, yeah. I did everything that I could to maximize what I could do, right. but then I just got pulled hard. Yeah. I yeah. didn't see a redeploy, so my rocket launcher went away when, when uh, FN died. Yeah. That's destiny, man. Yep. I'll take my beat in the in the Swiss so that I can avoid them in the top cut, maybe. That works. Yeah, that's what you do. Thanks a lot. No problem. Thanks. Good luck to you Good luck tomorrow. tomorrow. Sounds good.